everybody it's Jess here thank you so much for watching for another daily vlog so this is gonna just be our day at home um, it is still summer we still have a couple more weeks before school starts we're trying to cram in all the summer fun and it's been kind of rainy here and so we haven't really got to do a whole lot but today is really nice it's kind of muggy and humid out but at least it's not raining and the sun's kind of it's kind of overcast so it's a great day to get out before it got too hot it's about 10 o'clock in the morning i got up and drank my coffee and then i went ahead and got a shower did my hair and now i'm regretting that decision because i'm sweating and i did my makeup and now i'm sweating that off <laughs> but i needed to film a couple things today so i thought we'll be good to just get up and get ready i need to do that more often anyway because i feel better when i'm you know a little more put together and we're out here playing um lucy and mark are jumping on the trampoline and i nate has come out here but he's looking like he wants to go back inside maybe i maybe he'll just sit hey mark hey nate look you want to come sit with mommy here's your computer here's your computer sometimes if we bring something for him to look at or read then he'll sit on this patio with me you gonna sit with me yeah he wants to sit with me um anyway i thought i would show you guys what we do today what i eat today i'm still doing intermittent fasting yesterday i wasn't feeling that great so i didn't film i haven't filmed a short in a while uh, but I'm back on back on doing one meal a day today and I'll show you guys what I end up making for dinner today's Wednesday so it's a church day um, so I'll have to cook dinner for everybody before church starts and then um, I need to do a lot of housework and stuff like that but we're gonna have fun playing outside for a little while and um, <laughs> they're they have fun they fight and they play that's just siblings so you guys come with me today. We'll spend the day together. Uh, I hope you all are having a great day and we're just gonna sit here and enjoy some time together. It's gonna be a fun hope you guys can hear me because they're doing some kind of construction and there's like crickets or it's very loud nate nate's over here working on his computer and he's doing some art nate he just asked me what day is today and i said today is july 20th and he's and he was like okay and i said nate did you know that school starts back august 10th and then it just hit me how many more days until school starts nate can y'all believe we have like 20 one day before school starts I about was like oh my god <laughs> I'm not ready it's so funny because back when Nate was like first grade kindergarten we had so much trouble during the summer with like routines he was really unhappy when school was out because he just loved the routine of school but the last few years we've really been enjoying our summer so much that i'm just not ready for school to start which is kind of crazy because there for a while we were like counting down the days because he just loves school so much are you ready for school to start yeah, yeah. do you miss it yeah. but have you had a good summer yeah we've had a really good summer um i want to tell you guys about a new book i'm reading i know not everybody cares about this but um i like to share when i get a really good book so let me make sure i know the title of this i'm reading it on the libby app and there was no waiting for this one it might be now i don't know but sometimes you have to like place holds and stuff but this one didn't have a hold so i was able to start it right away and it's called the last flight by julie clark holy cow i'm only like 10 percent. this says i'm like 10 percent through it so I, i'm only barely through like i've only been reading it for a little while I love it so far. It is so good. It's about a lady that is in like an abusive relationship and she stages her own disappearance and like tra trades lives with someone else. And then 
something happens. I don't want to give too much of the book away. I'm, I'm really bad at giving away. <laughs> I don't, I probably don't give enough away to know, make you know, you want to read it. All of this is like on the jacket cover, so I'm not giving anything away, but it's really good so far. It's like very well written and it's like one of those books that immediately you're into. It doesn't take a while. So The Last Flight, it's really good so far. Um, it's called that because she gets on an airplane. Anyway, we are really enjoying it out here. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's a very breezy. <laughs> But it feels good, so I'm not complaining. Lucy went back inside. She's still not feeling 100%. She's got a little bit of a cough and a sore throat. Nate's kind of coughing. Um, but Mark is wearing his tie-dye shirt that we made yes, um, this weekend. Didn't it turn out so good? I think Mark's turned out the most colorful. And he, how we did the tie-dye, me and David ended up doing 99% of it. Because if y'all have ever done tie-dye, it's really messy. I'm always surprised like how liquidy, because it's just pretty much water that's dyed. I have hair in my mouth. Um, but we don't want it to go everywhere. And it's really staining. Like if you get it on your hands, it'll come off, but it'll stain for a little while. So we normally just help let them help us tie it, pick their design. And then we do the dyeing part. So they tell us what colors they want where. And um, it was actually a, a date kind of craft. Me and David sat there for the, about an hour and did everybody's while they were playing and running around. Uh, but I have to show you everybody else's. Mark's came out really good though, and he's wearing it today, so I wanted to show y'all. But Layla's barking at the neighborhood dog. I'm gonna sit here and read some of my book, and then it'll be time to go inside and start making lunch. I'm not really sure what I want to make the kids for lunch. Um, still have hair on me. Probably gonna do something pretty easy. This I have gotten this question like, how do you? Like if I was working and doing intermittent fasting, it would be a lot easier because I could just do my own thing. I wouldn't be responsible for getting everybody snacks and meals and stuff. How I look at um, doing intermittent fasting as a mom where my, my kids are constantly eating snacks and meals and I'm having to cook, it really doesn't bother me. But when the days that it kind of does, I just make sure to feed them. Like, I don't, I don't know, like griddled cheese or chicken nuggets or even frozen pizza. Like the stuff they like is not very tempting to me. It's not what they call window worthy. <laughs> like now that you're only eating like one or two meals a day, you want it to be like worth it. And those kind of foods to me are just not worth, you know, breaking my fast for. So that's kind of how I look at it. And um, the more you fast, though, the better you feel. And the more it's like, I don't want to feel crappy, so I don't want to keep breaking my fast. And I actually really enjoy, enjoy cooking and baking and stuff while I'm fasting because it gives me something to look forward to. So anyway, I know everybody's different, but that's just kind of how, how I've dealt with it because um, in the beginning, it was, it was harder than it is now. And I ha have kind of gotten used to it. Mark has a stick. What she got? What? What is that? Oh, can you show us your car? I need to straighten up out here. We've got a mess, but I'm just going to sit here and read my book. So I wanted to tell you guys about that. I also wanted to say, I know I'm going to get probably a comment that says, why is Mark in long pants if you said it was so hot out? Um, the reason is this child gets bit by mosquitoes so bad, even with bug spray on, he still gets bit. And so um, I did spray him down, but I put on a real, real lightweight pants because they normally go right for his legs. They'll even bite him in the, like, in the face, which I don't feel, feel like I see that much. And he is so sensitive to them. They like whelp up on him, same as Nate, but they go after Mark even more. So I don't know. We're going to try doing this and just see if it helps. I still sprayed him down. Um, I don't know. They really like him. <laughs> so <laughs> you're so sweet. <laughs> and he scratches them until they bleed. It's so sad. Are you having fun? A brick. What? He keeps thinking he sees it air here as an airplane, but it's just the construction. It's the construction. We don't have a lot of airplanes <laughs> going over us. We live in a really small town. So anyway, I just figured somebody's going to say, why are you dressing your baby in long pants? That's why. So, you know, kids, they like to play with the most random things. Mark is having so much fun sweeping with our little sweeper. Aren't ya? Hi. <laughs> what? Peekaboo. 
<laughs> Peekaboo. Okay, tell me again what you just said. Alphabet. Nate just came up to me and asked me for alphabet soup. Um, I don't have any alphabet soup, but we can buy some. Ow, what's going on? Would you eat it? Yes. Now, I know they have ABC, um, they have ABC spaghetti like noodles. Like, don't y'all remember those as a kid? ABC one, two, threes. I guess I can make them like a chicken soup with alphabet noodles. I don't even know if Walmart has those though. With mac and cheese. Oh, alphabet mac and cheese. Now remember, oh, if you guys are, food. if you guys were around during Nate's alphabet mac and cheese phase, that was probably when he was four or five. He loved uh, alphabet mac and cheese, and the only place I could find it is Publix. I don't even know if they still make it, but he did love that. Nate, what made you think about alphabet soup? Alphabet mac and cheese. Alphabet cheese. Oh man, I don't. Yeah, they do have alphabet cheese. It's, but they always get crushed. Well, we don't have any today, but maybe we could go to the store in the next few days and get some. Does that sound like a plan? Be careful. All right, you guys. So <laughs> Nate kept asking for ABC mac and cheese, but then I told him we didn't have any. And so he was very happy to settle for regular mac and cheese. I'll have to look and see if they even still make the ABC kind. Um, but <laughs> I don't think they have it anywhere close to us. And anytime you order that kind of thing online, it's always way more expensive. But anyway, he enjoyed it. He had two big bowls of mac and cheese. <laughs> I'm just sitting here and drinking my water. I am going to probably make dinner a little bit early tonight. David went into work early so that he could come home and have like an early dinner before church. So um, I think I'm going to do HelloFresh. I have, so when you order HelloFresh and if you don't, if you've never tried HelloFresh, I have a really great code down below, not sponsored, but we love HelloFresh. <laughs> we've, we've done HelloFresh for years. And now they have it to where if you really like a recipe, if it's one of your favorites, um, you can order more than one. So we get the three meal plans. We get three meals on the week. So we order HelloFresh. And sometimes on the recipes we really like, I'll order two of the same one. And today we're going to do the firecracker meatballs. And I have ordered two different meals of that. So there will be four servings. And what I like to do is go ahead and cook both meals. And it takes about the same amount of time to cook two versus one. And then we will have leftovers for tomorrow or the next day when we want to do that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. That sounds really good. It's one of our favorites. It's like a bowl. You put like rice on the bottom. And then you make these meatballs that are like Asian flavored. And there's like ginger and all different kinds of stuff in them. You bake those and you also roast some green beans. So you put the meatballs and the green beans on top of the rice. And then there's just like this spicy sauce that goes on it. It's David's very favorite HelloFresh meal. And so um, I probably like, there's one that I like a little bit more just cause it's kind of, um, it's very similar, but it's a little bit easier to cook cause you just roast everything like on a skillet. But um, it's like sesame, Asian green beans bowl or something. I don't know what it's called. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he really likes this one though. And it's one of my favorites too. So I think I'm going to make that for dinner and then we'll have leftovers. And, um, but right now I just got a Sunday chat filmed. We are finishing up the series over on my Sunday chat series. And so next week we'll be talking about something else, but I finished up this one and got it edited really quickly. I was trying to see what time it is, but okay. It is two o'clock. Mark has been laying down for an hour. That's pretty good. In an hour, I have filmed a video and edited it. That's pretty good. So I'm going to read. I didn't, haven't got to read very much of my book today because we've been playing and doing stuff. So I'm just going to sit and read. I don't have anything else I need to do right now. So I'm going to enjoy that. And then I'll need to get some housework done in a little while. But that'll be there. So we'll see you guys back in a little bit. I'll show you guys how dinner comes out. Um, and we'll hang out together some more.
right, you guys, I just got done making and eating dinner. So you can see on my short that I posted for today, but I broke my fast at about 18 and a half hours. And I had my Slim Hunger Control by Plexus. I love how I feel since I've been taking the Triplex from Plexus. This is not an ad for it. Um, I just truly want to show what I eat, and that's part of it. Eat and drink, as I don't drink it during my fast. Some people do, because it's only 15 calories, but I'm very careful about what I eat and drink. Well, I don't eat anything, but I'm very careful about what I eat during my fast, because I don't want, I want to get all the benefits I can. And there's controversy if it messes you up or not. So I like to just, you know, go on the side of caution. And then I made a shot of espresso and put it with a Fairlife protein shake. It makes the best like iced coffee. So I had that while I made dinner and I made the HelloFresh firecracker meatballs, which you guys already saw. And I had that. And then I was trying to think of what I wanted for dessert because I wanted something sweet and I decided on a bowl of cereal. I could not though finish it. I got a small bowl and put some pretty pebbles in there but I couldn't even finish it. I'm really full. Got a lot of protein today, which is really good. So David and Lucy just left for church. Me and the boys are at home. I'm going to try to get some work done, straighten up a little bit, get everything kind of ready for the day tomorrow, kind of reset the house. Everything's kind of cluttered. And then I am going to just hang out with them. Then Lucy and David will be home and we'll get everybody ready for bed. So Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We had a great day and tomorrow maybe I'll take you guys with us too and we can hang out some more, but I really appreciate you joining us for today. If you like the video, you want to see more like it, the best way to let me know is by liking the video and subscribing. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. It means so much for you to be here and definitely comment and let me know something about yourself. I love to get getting to know you guys in the comments. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.